Okay, I'm going to go and show you how our integration between Salesforce and Dynamics SL works. In particular, I'm going to be showing how we can integrate between an opportunity in Salesforce and then convert that opportunity to a, an SL project and then be able to synchronize that project and tasks back to Salesforce so that the Salesforce user doesn't have to log in to SL to be able to go ahead and interact with the actual project after it's created. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a an opportunity. And why don't we call this, hey, a Salesforce integration. So we've got a Salesforce integration job. And I'm going to assign an account to it. So let's say we're going to do this for Bright Agrotech. I'll fill in a, a few other defaults here. Um, let's say it's going to be for $2,000, uh, close date, and I say that it's closed as one, and and let's say the next step is, is create a project plan. So you can also notice here that there's an SL project ID. This is not filled in yet because we haven't converted this into an SL uh, project yet. So I'm going to save this and once I've saved that, you know, we've closed it as one, I see a button here that says create SL project. So we could actually trigger this automatically or we could go ahead and give the user the ability to say I'm ready to be able to send this. So I'm going to go and say I want to create an SL project. And so what that does is that sends information to our integration tool that says, okay, we're ready to be able to you know, convert this to a, an actual SL project. So now when I refresh the screen, I can see that I actually have an SL project ID. So now I'm going to switch over to Dynamics SL and I'm in project maintenance and I'm going to bring up projects and I can see here Salesforce integration I brought that up I can see that it tied it to the customer we can fill out any of these fields that you want right now um, what this is doing is it's just filling out certain fields because we only had certain fields available in Salesforce but any fields that are in the opportunity or in the customer or whatever including custom fields in Salesforce we could then go ahead and map that back um, so I can also see here's the original Salesforce opportunity number. Now here's an interesting part, Salesforce project. So what we also did is once we created a project in SL, it automatically then went and synchronized that project to Salesforce. So if I go back to Salesforce and I click on, let's see, projects, I can see, hey, I created a project and it's C0007. I click on that and I can see the actual information that was created in the SL project. And again, these are only basic fields. We can extend this so you can add as many fields as you want in Salesforce to be able to reflect what's going on in SL. Now let me go back to SL again and let me go into tasks. I'm going to create a task. And if we remember our first task, we need to create project plan. Okay, let's create the next one. Let's do uh, let's do another one here, and let's do something like uh, um, create specifications. So, so because we're doing a Salesforce integration, we need to specify what kind of uh, mappings and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so this is just kind of simulating a, a project that we would normally do for doing Salesforce integration. So now I got two tasks. Let me just save this. And so when I go back to Salesforce and I refresh, might take it a few seconds for everything to get over. There's one task that just showed up, create the project plan. And there's the second create specifications. So you can see how we can go and easily modify things in the project and now not only have the opportunity that got converted to a project, but now we have a whole project 
object that's out here that can show information back to the salesperson or anybody that's using Salesforce so that they can go ahead and view what's going on with that project without ever having to go back into SL. Okay, so what I've shown is we can create an opportunity in Salesforce.com and then convert that opportunity into a project in Dynamics SL. Once that project is created in SL, it then synchronizes that project back into a custom object in Salesforce. And so not only can we create the project and create the the updating and that type of thing but we can also synchronize between the two so if I look here this is the newly created project that's a custom object in salesforce.com that got created once the project was created in SL so now if I make changes so say I'm a project manager and I want to change some things let me just go off and on again since there's been changes but uh, let me say I want to go and make the description a little bit more descriptive so Salesforce to SL integration so I can make that change and I hit save and that's going to go ahead and then kick off a process that then updates salesforce.com automatically so if I go to Salesforce and I hit refresh I can see that that automatically updates there so now also say I want to go ahead and add a new task I'll, I'll go ahead and enter in a new task and write pro data mapping and I can then save that and what that'll do is synchronize the tasks back out to Salesforce so when I go back into Salesforce and I hit refresh I can see automatically that task is created so now we can do a synchronization along with round trips so that we can keep the uh, both the customer or the project ID and the Salesforce ID synchronized across both locations.